whether it's the prairie, the desert, the north woods, the ocean. You just can't go out, you can't buy this. You can't, you can't just get that feeling. It's something that all of a sudden, it just, it just creeps into you and it becomes who you are and part of, part of your soul. I'm Stephen Grossman. I was born in uh, Bertha, Minnesota, a little village south of Wadena. And I graduated from college uh, with a degree in game and fish. And I didn't know what side to heal the dog on. I didn't know anything about dogs or dog training, but I liked it and I had the passion for it. My boss from Grand Forks sent me down to a field trial in Goose Lake, Iowa when I was about 20. And I watched uh, a guy handle his dog, and you could see there was incredible respect and a bond between the dog and the handler. And from that point on, I thought, this is a guy I want to I wanna be like him. That's who I want to be like. Uh, every day for him, he lives this business and he lives wild birds and his dogs. The dogs taught me how birds live and where they live. And I, I'm playing in their home course, so I have to learn their, their patterns and what the birds are doing. I became a better dog handler hunting wild birds simply because I had to trust the dog more. He's driven by the pursuit of it and perfecting the things that are in his control. Had a boy. There's very little consistency to anything that we end up doing. We have weather patterns that come in, or we have snow, or we have rain, big wind, high wind, little wind. All those things make a difference in how we go about to hunt. So it's kind of a chess match between the, the, the guides and the birds that we end up hunting. When I have guys, the first question they'll ask me is, well, how fast can I expect to shoot my limit? I said, you were probably not for you. Just because it's, it's not about that. It's about the beautiful sunset, it's the sunrise. It's knowing the birds live here. It's getting a, a taste and a feeling of being in such a place where so much history had taken place. Those are the things which bring this whole thing together. It encompasses everything. And that's, is, there's a beauty to everything. I mean, there's great beauty everywhere. Every time I get a chance to get out with dad, it just makes me realize how far I have to go. And I'm not sure I can get to where he's at. You know, I'm very fortunate to, Number one, to do what I've done all my life, chase birds. Bird dogs. And... When I mentioned the other day, all the times I hear guys will say that, I wish I could do what you do. And I am lucky. It's all I've ever done, to do what I wanted to do. But you do it in a way that represents things in a proper manner. I'm one of those that think my book was written the day I was born, and I don't know how many pages that book is, but in that book, these are chapters in my life, and I think it's why it's brought me to this point. Where I'm at today is, is a good place, and I'm a pretty lucky man.